Hey guys, what's up? I hope you all are doing awesome uh, and you are doing well. So today I really wanted to, you know, uh, in with regards to our previous video, I really wanted to talk about uh, the use of blockchain technology specifically in the defense space, right? So, uh, you know, we could use blockchain technology for tracking of parts, for tracking of or managing the entire supply chain. So if you understand guys like the defense industry, the arms, ammunitions, the parts goes for, you know, repair or the services of aircrafts and, you know, bombs and, and you know, tanks and whatnot, missiles and not as like really, really complicated because they source from suppliers from all around the world and that date, data or that information is really really confidential and they have to make sure that the only authentic parts are being used as per the statistics you know as per the reports uh, released by the valueinformation.org uh, you know it was revealed that you know there has been increased uh, you know counterfeiting of products across the supply chain specifically in the defense space and to reduce that uh, you know the government is essentially the defense the DOD the Department of Defense in the United States is essentially looking forward to use blockchain technology to kind of you know track and trace the parts so using blockchain you know as you can understand and I have explained in the previous video that blockchain is a technology of trust which brings all the participants onto a safe ecosystem in a very very secured way because of its cryptography so imagine in this you know uh, supply chain management or this defense supply chain where you have this manufacturers suppliers distributors shippers and a lot of these middlemen right and and the government really want to maintain that confidentiality and integrity of the ecosystem so you could just bring all of them together create a business network and you would be able to track each and every information right from the source and the most amazing part here is that Though it's an open source information network or it's an information or it's a network of trust, every participant would determine uh, with whom the data should be shared and what level the access control should be are. So they would be able to, you know, uh, uh, keep the information confidential and at the same time also monitor everything in a transparent way. And on the top of that, they could also use uh, essentially, uh, you know, a smart contracts. So smart contracts are self-executable contracts. So the contracts will also be get, you know, executed as soon as any of the parameters or the transaction essentially triggers. So this way, the government will be always be also be able to make a figure out and the manufacturers and everyone in the space that which component is being used in which specific aircraft or which specific products, when, where. So the warranty management and the managing the entire life cycle of a products also become like really very very easy so the whole idea with the technology is to drive value and blockchain is one such technology which is going to drive value of information which is going to drive value of trust it's a purely a data driven and a data computing technology and thus it will also form a backbone for all the other technologies like ai iot big data cloud mobility and whatnot so i'm going to also talk about how blockchain is going to form the backbone for all these technologies in my coming videos so stay tuned and keep watching and think blockchain think snapper and you should if you're looking forward to build your career in the blockchain space visit indian blockchain institute or probably you can reach out to me and i would be happy to give you a one-on-one -on -one career consulting and guidance you know so thank you so much guys cheers bye bye and have an amazing week and life ahead cheers